Cliftonville played host to Glenavon at the dub in glorious sunshine in the under-15 National League. Cliftonville in the red colours and the Lurgan side, the visitors, in orange. Glenavon's Liam Core was a handful for the Reds throughout the 70 minutes. Number 11 here and after just five minutes he went past Jack Kinner. His cross, however, was cut out initially. The danger still wasn't cleared, however, and although Aidan Lillis had possession momentarily for Cliftonville, the ball eventually made its way to central midfielder Harry Norton, but he leaned back a little too much, and the ball flew high and wide of the target. And the game remained scoreless. Lillis was involved in thwarting a Glenavon attack after 27 minutes. Rugan McVeigh was fouled. Danger Man Core sized up the free kick. And what about this? For precision, pace and placement. The ball winding up in the net off the underside of the crossbar to give the visitors a deserved lead. Core's quality in delivery was causing all sorts of problems for Cliftonville. His corner this time was headed just narrowly wide by Bradley Ingram as Glenavon looked to stretch that lead. Before the break, Glenavon did make it 2-0. Lillis conceded this free kick for lunging in two-footed. Core again showed his set-piece prowess, picking out Luca McGreevy. His initial effort clipped off Lillis and went past Mateer in the Reds' goal. After half-time, it was more of the same from Glenavon. Core's 48th-minute corner was headed behind by Ingram. The Reds continued to be off their game. Cliftonville then tried to play out from the back change of tactic for them. Matier fed Lillis, who passed to Keelan Millen, but he was subsequently outmuscled by the impressive Harry Norton, who weaved one way then the other, before rifling home to make it 3-0 to Glenavon after 54 minutes. And Glenavon were determined to get at least another in the remaining 15 or so minutes. Cliftonville, who had started fairly well in the game, were just about out on their feet. The Reds, who had possession and were after at least a consolation goal foraged forward three minutes later. But Core and Norton hassled their markers in central midfield. Norton feeding Rugen McVeigh who drove forward towards goal before finding the corner with this classy finish to make it 4-0 to the visitors game set and match. Cliftonville's day was summed up in the last 30 seconds. Lillis started this free-flowing move. Jackson Reed then picked out Aaron Prendergast with the pass over the top, but he could only hit the side netting for the Reds. Full time Cliftonville nil, Glen Avon four. I thought it was going to be a lot tighter than what it was. Um, unfortunately, it was just it was just one of them days. We we didn't really get going at all. We didn't really test them. Um, before to Glen Avon, they played some really good football. They scored some super goals. Um, we just couldn't cope with them really. We started okay and we finished okay, it was just everything unfortunately in between, I, I don't know, hot day that maybe they're not used to, looked a little bit tired, sort of had, from at least from our end, that, that end of the season feel where maybe the boys are already on their holidays and thinking about next year as opposed to the game today where then Adam were the complete opposite, they were focused, working hard, did some super stuff and done really well, that's all I can put it down to. We were, we're particularly pleased today at Barn and Main, we had five under 14s playing. Um, with five or six boys injured, um, so it was fantastic to be able to bring up the young lads and for them to be able to step in relatively seamlessly 
and, and do so well. Um, really, really pleased with some of the passages of play. Some of the goals were fantastic. So, yeah, delighted with the boys today. Really, really pleased. Yeah, Liam's doing particularly well. Liam and Harry both came to us at the beginning of the season. Both have pushed on fantastically well from the start. Of it. Um, as you saw there from free kicks, you know, Liam's really progressed this year. He's doing particularly well. Harry as well, centre midfield. Um, very, very good. Um, I think he's as good as there is, if I'm being honest. He's, he's certainly as good as I've seen this season. Um, so delighted with both boys progressing very well. And I, I think we'll, they'll start to get opportunities at older ages at Glenavon in the not too distant future, which is really particularly pleasing.